say hi. Say hi, everyone. Oh, it's a big boy. Oh, it's a big boy. Isn't he just the cutest thing? <laughs> oh. Oh. He just loves being on his back, letting it all hang out. Is that a boy thing or? So I didn't post yesterday and honestly there was a minute where I didn't think I was gonna post today. I'm honestly just not feeling like the greatest today. And my stomach's just like a little bit off. But then I thought, you know, why do I always have it in my head? I always have it in my head that when I do my hauls, I need to just be 100% put together, always have to be on point, or I don't know why that, Whoa. Yeah, so I, I don't know why I do that to myself and I thought this was probably a good time for me to just kind of like push past that mental. It's like I give myself some sort of bar, you know, and I always have to achieve it. Anyways, this is my own personal problem and I'm just letting you guys kind of know where I'm at today. So if you also don't feel good, I completely understand. I hope you're cozied up under a blanket or you're going to be um, and we've got him for the show. So I'm probably also just gonna do like a post shots today so you can see the items really well. I know I don't do that too often. All right, so the first thing in my mouth dropped is this beautiful, look, he's gotta, he's gotta talk about it, is this beautiful heart um, muffin pin. This is just darling. First time, by the way, Dollar Tree has ever done this before. What I love about this little item here is that you don't just have to actually use it for its functionality. I mean, obviously you could, you know, do like silicone with chocolate or whatever, or, you know, muffins, cupcakes, all those things in here. But this would actually be a great pickup for decorating as well. Have you ever gone to like a vintage or a thrift store or like a, um, what do they call those? Uh, like a fair kind of thing? A fair? What? what? I don't even know. But, and they like kind of style like these like vintage looking muffin pans as decor. It just looks really cute and really rustic. So if it's like up your decorating alley, you could also look at this piece from Dollar Tree um, as a decorative piece. So you could even style it up too and not leave it plain or you could maybe even make it look more aged than you know it is because it obviously has a brand new look to it. Also this would be cute too if you were going to do like a movie night and you could fill each little tin up with like certain little candies. All right next up Dollar Tree put out new wreath forms and they are new so we've got a star here which is really cute. You're going to want to scoop this up if you decorate for 4th of July. I think I'm gonna put my ponytail behind me. So I either get colonial boy or I get rat tail. So maybe the rat tail's better. Um, all right, so very cute. And then a wagon wheel. It, oh, I had the tag on it, but the tag, I remember it says wagon wheel on it. So I was just like, okay, Dollar Tree, I see you. Like how exciting is this? You could definitely paint this. Um, make it look, you know, like antique white kind of finish uh, with some like black, you know, just like sand it and then have like the black kind of give it that aged look. And this would just be a darling piece for farmhouse. Okay. But I've never seen this toy from Dollar Tree. So this is also completely brand new. And this is a doggy treat puzzle. Um, so I guess you just put the treat in here. But see, the problem with this concept is Loki will eat this. So while this may work for some of y'all, it will absolutely not work for me and, 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 and you. Next up, repeat purchase for me. And they are these little heart stickers. They have the glitter. I love these stickers so much. Of anything with Valentine's Day from Dollar Tree, I look forward to these the most. This item right here is by far my favorite. I've DIY'd with it. I'm gonna link a video that comes to my mind immediately. It's where I used um, some of these stickers for my tear tray. It'll be in the description box for you. But I I also picked these up for my daughter's care package. Key to my heart kind of theme, and I thought it was absolutely precious. I said, okay. This is just darling. And it even has like the little hole in the heart for the key. 
So that's really cute. You know, if you're definitely into DIYs and de deconstructing, you might have some ideas for this. I think the sign just together like this is really cute. You could definitely center it or back it to a wreath and that would be beautiful. I saw and these while I was shopping at Dollar Tree and I decided to pick them up. They are just these little heart elastics. They're just really cute. I got these for my daughter's care package. I think you can actually use these as hair ties. Then I found this bag and I really liked it too because I like the, like the block of ombre. I mean, I guess it's not technically ombre, right? Or is it? Whatever. So, um, cute little gold hearts, foiled yeah. hearts. And then I couldn't remember. This isn't new, is it? Like I've mentioned before, the problem is Dollar Tree will take items they've done before and tweak them a little bit. But I have a feeling. I have a feeling I've hauled. I've hauled this set before. Maybe not this floral one, but this tractor one. Definitely, I remember it. Um, but they brought them back out. And see, the last time I think I hauled it was maybe somewhere over a year ago. And then my stores just restocked it. So it's kind of hard to keep up. But they are beautiful and the sizing is perfect for little nooks and crannies or tiered trays. Then I found this craft wood project from Dollar Tree. Really cute. I love how simple it is. Honest. And I think it looks very easy to to paint. Like the letters are blocks. You know, they're not like cursive -y type font. So I just think if you kind of have like a shakier hand, this will be, in my opinion, easier to to paint in but they even give you like the little string so you can hang it up um just a pack of the dog waste bags they have different prints as well i just always go for black so i picked that up then i picked up these heart containers have i hauled them this year already i know i hauled them last year um but i don't think they've been in my videos this year but if you're new to shopping at dollar tree they do these little containers like this for almost every holiday. I've used these in the past for a lot of DIYs too. I think I turned a set into garland. Up, I have been on the hunt for ribbon at Dollar Tree for Valentine's Day, but this is all I have found. Which, to be fair, brand new. They did not release this last year, so this is a brand new set. These were all the colors that I found. Then I found this cute little notebook. I like how it kind of has this faux leather feel to it also kind of like not kind of it is a little mini traveler's journal so that's really exciting you get two journals in here Ooh. candlestick holder because for years dollar tree has had i'm sure you guys know the one i'm talking about and it is so used maybe even overused for so many diy projects i hoping like Dollar Tree will kind of pick up on that and start giving us different shapes for these so that you know crafters can you know do what they need to do so all right next up I picked up the blemish patches Dollar Tree has done the blemish patch before but this is a um different brand I've, I don't think I've ever seen it there before non-medicated so that's what it says on the back but I picked those up and then and I only found these two items, but is Dollar Tree giving us charcuterie board stuff? Like what? I found this little mini jar of what is sweet hot mustard. Look at that. And then a little block of cheese. This was all that I found at this one store. So I'm gonna keep my eye out, but just letting you guys know, finding these little gems. All right, next are going to be the containers that I'm obsessed with. Um, Dollar Tree also does these for multiple holidays. So you guys, they all have red lids. I did not see any other colored lids, so couldn't, you know, like interchange them out. So we have this one, and I love that I'm seeing a lot of like black detail to Valentine's Day this year. That's also new. And then this one, which is my favorite. Now, okay. this last item I have been searching for since they started putting out Valentine's Day. Because 
I wanted to do this look for my fireplace mantle and I found them and they are these red glitter hearts these specifically because they're just so pretty to me there's no big fuss to them they have the perfect heart shape in my opinion I love that it's like a cutout and then the red glitter is so pretty so I bought several of these I don't know how many I'm actually going to use for my fireplace mantle but um I picked up quite a few and I knew I knew if I didn't like maybe end up using two or one I was still gonna use it for something else so you will see how I'm going to style this essentially I'm gonna uh, thread ribbon through them and then they're gonna kind of like float at different angles and that's it for today's video I know it was on the smaller side but let me prep you for Wednesday's haul because because I did this one so small I'm gonna do Wednesday's huge and so there's that and tomorrow is gonna be my living room reveal here's a little sneak peek definitely tune in I hope you guys love it and I will be quickly moving on to I think the entryway and guest bath so that's it I will see you guys tomorrow bye